Sexy Tarot. Taurus, this will be your edition of Sexy Is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Taurus, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Taurus, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find that energy resonates more with the cross watcher, Feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Taurus, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a free natal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted by way of cash app or by way of a donations link, which you can find in the description box below. All right, Taurus, there will not be an extended to this reading. I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. The first thing I'm going to do is get you some energies from your person that they're bringing towards you. Spirit, what energies is Taurus this person bringing towards Taurus? What energies is Taurus this person bringing towards Taurus? Spirit, please and thank you. What energies is Taurus this person bringing towards Taurus? What energy spirit is Taurus this person bringing towards Taurus? What energy? You have... Meeting the family, meeting the family, smart guy. So, Taurus, I feel like someone um, is coming up with the idea for you to meet their family. They feel like this is an intellectual decision, right? They're like, you know, I think it's time Taurus, is meet my, Taurus meets my family. At the bottom of the deck, stop looking in the rearview mirror. So, Taurus, um, in the past, I feel like this person met your, in the past, this, you met this person's family. And they're thinking about this. It could be them questioning why did they, why did you, why did they let you meet your family? Or they could be questioning why they have not met your family. Spirit, what energies is Taurus this person bringing towards Taurus? What energies is Taurus this person bringing towards Taurus? Social media, social media. So uh, maybe a person is on social media. Or they're trying to reach out to you through social media. Um, but we're going to clarify that to get more information. Seduction, seduction. Maybe someone's trying to seduce you through social media. Spirit, maybe someone feels seduced by you on social media. Spirit, what energies is Taurus' this person bringing towards Taurus? What energies is Taurus' this person bringing? The main event. The main event. So something has reached its peak. Okay. It's, some, it's something in you and this person's story that your person feel like um, that it reached its peak. And they feel like the best part is happening. There's a happy ending. Okay. Someone under, your person underwent some spiritual growth. Whatever is going on with you, Taurus, and this person, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, this person is okay with it. They're okay with it. So I have a female energy that's very accepting of whatever's happening in the connection. And then I have a male energy who's looking back like, why did you let me go? So we're going to clarify these energies because I'm very curious to see what's going on. So Taurus, your person is bringing the energy of meeting the family. Smart guy. Let's see why this is here. Spirit, why is meeting the family here for Taurus's person. Why is meeting? Okay. So Taurus, your person felt like when they introduced you to their family, that was the way you were supposed to know you were meant for them. So your person could possibly introduce you to their family. And they were like, look, Taurus, Taurus you were meant for me. But the two of you might be separated because they like, don't you forget about me. Taurus, your person is bringing the energy of social media. 
Let's see why this energy is here. Spirit, watch Taurus this person bringing the energy of social media. Why is Taurus this person bringing the energy of social media, Spirit? Please and thank you. I don't want that. that that's weird. Why is Taurus this person bringing the energy of social media? It came right back. That was supposed to be the sign. The sign. So, Taurus... Your person is like, you should be seeing some sort of signs on social media. I don't know what that means. With, with Ace of Base. So there was some new beginning that was supposed to be some sort of sign to you on social media. Yeah. Um, your person is like, look, they're going to break all the rules because they want you back. Even though the two of you are not speaking at this time, we don't speak. Taurus, a person feels like, you know, they're bringing the energy of the main event. they like, look, this is the end of this. I want a happy ending. Okay, somebody had enough. they like, look, I had enough. I want a happy ending. Like, your person might be putting on a show of some sort. Tell me about the main event that Tar and Taurus's person energy. Why is Taurus's person? Yeah, they like, look. They want you to unbreak their heart. They feel like you know what's going on with unbreak my heart. They want a happy ending. Like, for some reason, your person feel like you broke their heart. Your person is saying, look, Taurus, you knew you knew I wanted you. You knew you were the person for me when I introduced you to my family. Some kind of way they feel like they give you signs on social media. And they feel like y'all reached the... the this climax, like, look, either we going to be and you going to do right and unbreak my heart or we're not. At the bottom of the deck, your person is saying that I want to set you up, but they are hurt on the inside. With inside that I cried. Um, so, oh, so your person is saying with the end of the road, this is over. They're hurt that this is over and they do like making love to you. So for whoever that's for. But I have a female energy that feels like they need to let go and they're okay with the outcome. This person is very enlightened with all those chakra covers, colors. And then I have a male energy. So I, depending on if you're the male or female Taurus you're, or a male or female energy, you know where you live. And then I have a male energy looking back like, what, I'm about to come back. I don't know what you're talking about. What you mean this is over? Okay. Somebody go, Somebody missed some sexual interlude with Lady of Night, whatever. I got an energy to feel like they could win this Divine Feminine over. Somebody like, oh, I'm, I could get her back. I could get her back. She going to submit to me. She going to do what I want her to do. And then somebody like, what you talking about, Willis? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Y'all can do that which one. So I'm going to set these energies to the side in case I need to refer to them during the course of the reading. <coughs> Excuse me. Spirit, how does Taurus this person view Taurus? How does Taurus this person? They view you as wisdom. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. So they view you as... They view you as letting your past life experiences guide you in your decision making. Spirit, how does Taurus this person feel about Taurus? How does Taurus this person feel about Taurus? They're stressed over you, Taurus. Spirit, what is Taurus this person thinking of Taurus? What does Taurus this person think of Taurus, Spirit? They think they're going to make a decision very soon. They're like, this wait is over. So whatever this decision is, they like to wait over. Spirit, what's at the root of the matter for Taurus's person when dealing with Taurus? What's at the root of the matter for Taurus's person when dealing with Taurus? Y'all broke up. Ex-partner. And they're healing from this. Spirit, what is the blockage, the obstacle, the challenge, and the way for Taurus's person when dealing with Taurus? The blockage is that someone doesn't feel safe in this connection, and that's why they're healing, okay? 
Someone doesn't trust the connection and it's causing someone to heal or someone could be healing from another connection that hurt them. And right now they just don't feel like they're safe to make another move, you know, into a connection. Spirit, what's the potential outcome for Taurus and their person? What's the potential outcome? Taurus, at the bottom of the deck, the reason for this reading is let's her. Let's her. Some of you are done with an Aries because this was their overall energy. Um, if somebody's about to reach out to you, or maybe you're about to reach out to someone. Let's see how you feel. At the bottom of the deck, you have soulmate. You have balance. Some of you are done with a Libra, and you have friends. Taurus, you're telling me this was a, your friend. This was your friend turned lover type of situation. It was not an equal take. Something wasn't fair and balanced. However, you do feel like this connection, this was your soulmate. It was a connection that was real and you felt like you wanted to explore it. Well, Taurus, your person views you as being alone, spending some time alone to do some soul searching. They view you as letting the um your past experience guide you in your decision making. They could view you as comparing them to someone in your past as well. Spirit, why does Taurus's person view Taurus as wisdom? Why does Taurus's person view Taurus? Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have just being near you is intoxicating. I feel you even though we're apart. I left when I saw you with someone. So Taurus, um, maybe you saw this person with somebody else. And maybe you feel like you do, um, this person is still energetically in your uh, energy, right? And whenever you're near this person, it just melts you. But you could have possibly saw this person with someone else. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo because that card came out in Virgo's energy too. Taurus, your person views you as... I know I was a distraction from your pain. I'm sorry, Scorpio. That card I, um, I left when I saw you with someone else was in Scorpio's reading. So some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. I know I was... So, Taurus, your person views you is like um, being wise, spending some alone time. Um, they view you as using them as a distraction from your pain. I'm just telling you the truth. So your person could view you as like, oh, now that I done distract the Taurus from their pain and I made Taurus feel better, now they want to be by themselves. That's what I'm getting. Spirit, wise wisdom, and I know I was a distraction from your pain here for Taurus's person. Wise wisdom, and I know I was a distraction. At the bottom of the deck, you have the writer, you have the key, and you have the stork. So, Taurus, what you telling me is you, you're trying to you're trying to work on opportunities for yourself. You know, this is what you're thinking about. You like, look, I'm trying to work on opportunities for myself. You know, you trying to level up and grow, okay? There could be a connection you want to level up and grow, and you might be about to approach this person and take an opportunity, possibly for a commitment or a new job or something of that nature. You know, this is someone you feel like you're addicted to, like you can't let go. Well, Taurus, your person views you as a spiritual connection with this cross card. Your person is saying, like, look, Taurus used me as a distraction from their pain, you know, so now they want to be left alone, and this is a burden. So let's see why this cross card energy is here. Spirit, why is the cross card here for Taurus's person? Why is Taurus's person viewing this connection as a burden? Burden, but they do feel like there's something spiritual here. Why does Taurus this person view Taurus? Okay. At 
at the bottom of the deck, you have attachment, you have protective and small challenges. So Taurus, you like, <coughs> this connection is the perfect, right? And you don't really think this is over. You like, look, our connection is not perfect. I don't think it's over. You know what I mean? I am attached to this person. I'm going to protect this connection. But is some element where you're self-sabotaging. That, that's what's in the energy. It's, some, it's something here where you're self-sabotaging the connection. And you have this feeling like, oh, they'll be there. This is just a small challenge. I'll get back to them when I, when I can. Well, Taurus, your person is saying this is a burden to get this going. This is a burden to, to start the momentum in this connection. All right, Taurus? So let's see why your person feels that way. Your person is like they wanted a big change. You know, they were like, you know, um, something threw your person off. Because they like, look, Taurus use me when they... Taurus uses me when they need my help. Taurus uses me when they in pain. And this is a burden because we can't never get anything started. Tell me about this energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have incompatibility, twin flame, and old-fashioned. And Taurus, you like, look, I'm, I'm a traditionalist. I'm old-fashioned. I'm attracted to this person, but we just don't see eye to eye. There's some area where we're not compatible. Maybe you're no longer attracted to this person. Well, Taurus, your person is saying it's a burden to get anything going with you. And they're saying you use them to be a distraction from your pain. Your person is saying you're a savage. Whenever it comes to some sexual um, energy being exchanged between you, you and them, you're down. Your person is saying, and then they have to ask your permission, you know, is it safe? Like your person feel like they don't know if it's safe to even have sex with you for some of you. I'm just being honest with you. I'm being honest with you. Your person could feel like, you know, um, that's kind of what I'm getting. I want to see why they're viewing you as a savage. It's like, when they come to y'all having a, um, a commitment they feel like they got to keep asking you about that but when it comes to sex it's cool your person is saying taurus use me when they hurt tell me about this savage energy why does taurus this person view taurus as a savage they view you as being prickly too like on again off again At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Swords, ooh, the Ace of Pentacles, and Death. Some of you are done with Scorpio. And Taurus, what you telling me is like, you wanted to, see, let me tell you something about the Seven of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you were trying to put a strategy together for a new beginning. But however your strategy is, I feel like somebody was eating live. I feel like someone was eating lies and it came to an end. Somebody like, look, I'm ending this. This new, co this commitment is never coming. And I feel like somebody ended it. Could be you or your person. Taurus with the savage energy, your person feel like you kind of be forcing sex upon them with strength. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. And then your person feels like you get real guarded with this nine of wands and never make a decision. Your person like, they don't know what it is you want. They feel like you never make a decision, you never have a plan, you never have a choice. But when they come to intimacy, you for it. 
I want to see what it is that your person fits. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. I want to see what, why this Nine of Wands is here. Because your person viewed you as guarding that. Like, your person telling me you already made some sort of choice. And you're not telling them. Like, you're keeping it to yourself. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Why does Taurus, this person view Taurus as the Nine of Wands? Why does... At the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, that Nine of Wands that we're clarifying, and the Three of Wands. And Taurus, you tell me, look, I need to wait. I need to take this slow. The reason I'm taking this slow is because I am guarded. I am going through something. I am in some sort of pain. I'm trying to get through something, possibly with your stability. Well, with this Nine of Wands, your person views you as being guarded and in pain your person is like they they feel like you high in your feelings you high in your emotions with this king of cups some of y'all done with scorpio your person is saying like you you like resistant you resistant to having this new beginning you resistant from expressing your emotions and your person um feel like you don't want to move too fast with this knight of swords How your person feels about you, how your person feels about you. Your person feels like this is a stressful situation and they feel like they lost themselves for a little while in this connection. Your person feels like you're dating other people and that you be doing like um vindictive stuff. Like you, you um if you feel like they doing something, they mirror you. Like y'all be doing stuff to each other. Like, oh, you dating somebody? Well, I'm going to date somebody. And and they feel like they lost themselves in you, and that's stressful. Like, they feel like now they're going to reflect back to you what you did to them. I don't really feel like it's vindictive. I feel like somebody felt real vulnerable, and it triggered them. And then it's like everybody running from the relationship. And I feel like now your person is starting to date other people because they feel like that it's stressful because they lost themselves in you. So tell me about this guard. Oh, okay. Tell me about guard in the mirroring for Taurus's person. Why? At the bottom of the deck, you have blinded. You have union and emotional detachment. And you like, look sexy. I'm emotionally detached. They came out of nowhere talking about they wanted this commitment. Or they came out of nowhere telling me they wanted me to return. <laughs> but Taurus, your person feels like um, y'all both made the decision to see other people. Your person feels like, you know, their love struck or your love struck because I'm asking how they feel about you. They feel like you love the nightlife, like you like being out in the night, dating, and they, here go your energy or Libra's energy. They feel like you you go out there and, and in the evening, you be partying, and then you be do growing things with people you meet at night, something like that. Let's see what fertility is, because your person feel like you grow on something. They could feel like you got somebody pregnant. Tell me about this fertility. Why Taurus person feel Taurus is fertility? At the bottom of the deck, you have the moon. Some of you are done with a Pisces. You have the three of pentacles and the four of swords. And Taurus, what you're telling me is you healing, you taking a break from a third party. I feel like there was a secret love connection here, okay, with the three of pentacles. I feel like you had a lot of emotions for this person, but you feared this third party some kind of way. So you healing from that. Or you fear working on this. 
or Taurus with this um, fertility, your person feels like you're growing something new with the full energy. Some of you are doing with Aries. They feel like you took a leap of faith or risk. And whatever risk you took broke their heart or shattered this connection with a third party. Your person feels like um, you, had a, you were in a commitment. You were married or you were living with somebody, something like that. And whatever risk you took, you shattered this commitment. To grow something new. So let's see why your person is this three of swords. Spirit, why does Taurus this person feel like Taurus broke their heart and disappointed them? Why does Taurus this person feel like at the bottom of the deck you have the Ten of Cups? You had the Queen of Swords, some of you are dealing with the Libra and the Nine of Swords. And Taurus, you telling me you stressed out. You are full of anxiety. Some of you um are happy with your lawyer or you're trying to get a lawyer to allevi alleviate some stress and anxiety. But Taurus, what you telling me is you be up late at night stressed out. And you facing the truth about something with a home life and a family life. But you stress. And your person is saying with this three of swords that they feel like it could have been a third party with this four of wands and this marriage, this commitment, this living together situation. Your person feels like that um, you need to take the lead as far as this marriage, home life, living together situation. Some of you are done with a Capricorn with this queen of pentacles and this five of this five of cups so your your person feels like you you're guilty they tell me look Taurus guilty Taurus is guilty they had a third party or they caused a heartbreak and disappointment Taurus decided to uh, take action and nurture something else and they're guilty that's what your person is telling me but I feel it's like your person is over it. Taurus what your person thinks of you what your person thinks of you they think that like right now they're, they're making a decision because they feel they thinking like you know y'all both know that y'all not for each other you know what I mean so your person is like they finished waiting and that's why that climax was card was there and I had a female energy that felt like they were okay with this and then I have a male energy that's like what the what the hell you mean I'm about to come back I don't know where you think you going. But your person is thinking like, look, very soon they making this decision. Like, we both know I'm not the one for you. And your person is like, look, I'm not for you. Your person is thinking like right now they hoping just to take care of themselves. Or they could think that you hoping that things will work out in your favor. But I feel like your person is saying like, look, I may very soon, or if they have not already done this, I'm making a decision. I'm not the one for you. You know, um, I hope, it's like they hope you okay. That's what I'm getting. Your person is thinking they hope, they hope you're okay with self-care. they like, I hope Taurus is okay. But they like, you and them, y'all not going to work. Spirit, tell me about this wishing well and self-care. Tell me about this wishing well and self-care that's on Taurus's person mind. Tell me about wishing, okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have performance. You have chance and same old story. And Taurus, you like, yeah, okay. They always do this shit. It's the same old story. It's all an act. They taking a risk by doing this. Well, Taurus, your person is saying they hope you okay. <coughs> and, you know, they making a decision because they know y'all not for each other. Your person is saying that there was an entanglement here that you had them in the third party. And your person is saying that when it comes to reconciling, like they, it's a strategy here. So y'all could be saying the same thing, but they saying they hope you okay. 
I want to look at this strategy. I want to see what this strategy is. Spirit, tell me about this strategy that's on Taurus, this person's mind. Tell me about this strategy. So I feel like your person was planning to reconcile with you. But see that big lock on that entanglement? They was like, no, I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to be part of that. Taurus is off, you know, Taurus is off limits some kind of way. And that's why they saying they hope you're okay. But I'm going to clarify the strategy. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. You have the King of Cups. Some of you are dealing with Scorpio and the Six of Wands. And Taurus, you telling me you recognize the truth. You know this person loves you. This person gives you attention. You love the attention this person gives you as well. You want this person because you the Ace of Swords. You want this person. Well, the strategy is with this Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy to end this. Until someone gets an apology with the Page of Cups. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces. And here's the Queen of Cups. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody searched their emotions. And they like, I'm going to end this. Like, so they like, you going to have to, if you want me, you going to have to come get me. Because all these cards are going this way. Like, come back and chase me. Because I'm not going to put up with this. If you want me, come get me. I'm not putting up with this shit. That's what I'm hearing. I hope you okay. But as it stands, I'm not for you. I'm going to clarify this page of cups because I feel like somebody feel like they owed an apology, Taurus. Tell me about this page of cups that's on Taurus's person's mind. Like this person searched their emotions. They didn't make this decision lightly because the queen of cups is intuitive. She searches her emotions. And I do have a divine counterpart with that king of cups to just show with this queen of cups. But you, you love this person. You want this person. Tell me about this page of cups that's on Taurus's person's mind. Mm. At the bottom of the deck, you're seeing the same thing with the six of wands. The king of swords, some of you are dealing with Aquarius and the seven of wands. And Taurus, what you're telling me is like, look, I set some boundaries. I'm standing my ground. I made a logical decision because I recognize that things are at a standstill with this Knight of Pentacles. You know, this person is from my past and sexy. I do love them. This is a soulmate. However, I'm confused or there's some competition here. It's drama here. You know, we're starting anything new with this person. Okay, so you just want to take a break and heal from the connection. Well, Taurus, with this page of cups, your person is saying Taurus owes me apology if they want to get back with me. They're saying you owe them apology for a third-party situation. Your person is saying with this, this is five cups. Your person is saying you guilty of something. They saying you were their soulmate and you be wanting to reconcile, but they saying that you had a third party and you owe them an apology. Your person with this ten of swords is saying you betrayed them and that's what caused this ending. And that's why your person is like, look, I'm making this decision. You not the person for me. They hope you okay, but... They also could feel like you wanted to keep both people. They, they, cause this is what they think of you. They could feel like you had this strategy to be with both people and lock both people in with this entanglement. At the root of the matter for your person, Taurus, when it comes to you is your person does feel like the two of you have unfinished business with ex-partner and they do love you. That's what's at the root of the matter. Your person is trying to find the courage and strength to move on after these arguments, after this toxicity. You know, it's like your person feel like y'all constantly fighting. You know, like it's a never-ending story. Like this, it just keep happening over and again. Like y'all triggering one another. 
spirit. Taurus's ex says, look, I love Taurus, but they trying to find the courage and strength to move on from these obstacles and these arguments. Why is this here? At the bottom of the deck, we have talking to a brick wall. We have disappearing act in the pursuit. And you like, you know, I'll be trying to pursue them, but it's like talking to them, it's like talking to a brick wall. They they disappear. They don't hear me. Or what you telling me is you like, when it comes to pursuing them, you gone because they don't hear a damn thing you say. Well, Taurus, <clears throat> at the root of the matter for your person is they like, look, me and Taurus is my ex. We have unfinished business, and they trying to get past these arguments, right? At the root of the matter for your person, some of y'all done with a Capricorn. Your person could be watching you. They could be obsessed with you, but your person is trying to figure out why are you so emotionally detached when it comes to this union, this commitment. So let's see why emotional detachment is at the root of the matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Spirit, why is emotional detachment at the root of the matter for Taurus's person? Your person is saying you don't care. That's basically what they're saying. Taurus don't give a damn. Tell me about emotional detachment. They go that five of wands. At the bottom of the deck, you have the six of wands. The two of cups, you love this person. You want to make something happen with this person, Taurus. You want them back. You know you love them. You got the two of cups, the six of wands, and the ace of wands. You want them back. Uh, but somebody being cold and detached because they stuck. Somebody fears this connection ending because it's too much. Somebody's not making a move. <clears throat> Your person is saying you're not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your person is saying you're not making a move to make a decision. And that's the bird. They say you trying to keep them stuck. And that's they like you keep it secrets. And they might feel like you got another connection. And so they ended it. They feel like you lying to them. It'd be vice versa. Um, with this emotional detachment. Your person is saying with this five of wands at the root of the matter that there's some competition here, some drama. You know, um, y'all not on the same page and they feel like you just don't care what emotional detachment. Your person is saying like you be make you be causing this drama. Like you make this stuff happen with the magician and then you go ghost with the high priestess. They like Taurus start all this shit. And then they get quiet. They got these secrets, these secret lovers. And then they act like it doesn't matter to you after this happens. Tell me about this high priestess at the root of the matter. I feel like this major person turned away. At the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of wands again. That knight of pentacles again and the six of cups. And you're saying the same thing. Like, I love them. They're a person from my past. But I said what I meant. I meant what I said. And I'm not budging. So you're very stubborn and fixed. But you're, you are a Taurus. So very indicative of your nature. Well, with the high priestess, your person is saying that you refuse to make a decision with this king of swords. <clears throat> Some of you done with Aquarius. Your person is saying they recognize like you just emotionally detached they recognize that you go quiet on them you disappear on them because i'm looking at this high <clears throat> excuse me this high priestess and with this eight of swords energy your person feel like you trying to keep them stuck they feel like you they they feel like you trying to keep them stuck keep them right where they at for you in this melee of mess 
the block is the obstacle, the challenge and the way for your person when it comes to you is they don't know if it's safe to love you. Your person don't know if it's safe to love you. And I'm sorry, I'm being drawn back to this. And this. Your person don't know if it's safe to love you. Your person is like, they feel like you dating other people with all them birds. And you might be climaxing with a lot of people. You get what I'm saying? I'm really, I'm, I apologize, but that's just how I feel. And your person that has stress about this, they like, you know, it's sort of like sleeping with other people. You know, I don't know if it's safe. I do love them, but I can't get past that savage part. See? You won't see what I'm saying. At the bottom of the deck, you telling me you do got a selection, Taurus, and you want to control when you with each of these selections, and you do be sexting them. Well, Taurus, your person is saying, like, you won't take a break. You, like, what rest required, they like, you be going on a rebound and having rendezvous with these people. And you need to stop doing that stuff. Because your person is like, Taurus got a multitude of people. And you telling me, yeah, I want to control when I'm with who. I, 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 wanna, I want who I want when I want them. And when I do, I sex them. And then I be intimate with them. And that's what make me happy. I, when it comes to clingy behavior and people wearing all or nothing situations, they be all of a sudden wanting the truth. And, you know, I said what I said loud and clear that I don't want no damn strings attached. You don't want this exclusive shit. You feel like being in a relationship don't fit in with your lifestyle. So... And your person like, well, they don't know if that's safe and they don't know if you're using protection. <clears throat> Spirit, why is the blockage these rendezvous? I get a person like Taurus get a couple of drinks up in them. Bam! And next thing you know, they in a bed with somebody. Why is the blockage these rendezvous? At the bottom of the deck, you had the four of cups. You get bored. You get bored. The four swords. You like, yeah, when I get bored with them, I discard them. That's what you're telling me. And the ten of pentacles. You don't want no damn relationship. You don't want no commitments. You like, I get too bored easily. And I discard them. That's what you're telling me, Taurus. Well, your person is seeing the blockages, these rendezvous, and they want you to abandon that type of behavior because they, they kind of, their intuition is selling them with, that you out there creeping at night. Because I remember that nightlife card over here. And your person like, look, Taurus needs to stop that because they give it to too many people with the six of pentacles. Like, look at all them hands holding pentacles. So they got the hell out of there. And they feel like you just going to keep doing it with the chariot energy. Some of you dealing deal with the cancer. Mm -mm. Tell me about the six of pentacles. Because your person like you. Taurus giving to this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And they like this a blockage. They don't know. They don't know if it's safe. Like, they feel like you talking to all these people. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles here. Why is the Six, the six of Pentacles the blockage for Taurus person? And they feel like you got worse. And I'm going to tell you why they feel like you got worse. Because you go from five to six to seven. They feel like you got worse. They go to Six of Pentacles. Yep. Here you go, Taurus, with the King of Pentacles. They like, look, Six of Pentacles, Taurus giving to too many people, and it's disappointing, it's heartbreaking, they hurt me.
and you like well it's too much to be in a damn commitment it's a burden for me to be in a commitment so that's why i do the sneaky shit i do with the seven of swords okay Taurus. Taurus, the potential outcome for you and your person is um somebody needs to learn a spiritual lesson i want you to know spiritual is your your card and they wish they could share their good news with someone but somebody's resolution is to just be alone. Somebody like, mm -mm, ain't no loyalty here. Did we reach the end of the cycle? Somebody got something new going on. They want to share their good news. But they not going to share it. Because they feel like, for what? Somebody can have a new house. Got a new pet. Tell me about resolution and dog. Tell me about resolution and dog. At the bottom of the deck, you have silence. We have ex-lover and excuses. You like, look, I got excuses. It's time. So, Taurus, you feel like you got an excuse while you went silent on your ex-lover. This person right here, right? What's the excuse? Because when it comes to trust and loyalty, dog, right? Okay, I'm waiting. And romantic gestures, okay? I feel like it's risky for me to do this. Because I don't know if I'm genuine with performance. I mean, when it comes to the same person and being intimate with them with body language, I need a backup plan. Or it could be vice versa. <clears throat> Well, Taurus, your person is saying when it comes to ecstasy and passion, you'll walk them out. That they understand loud and clear. I feel like somebody is walking away from this because they hear exactly what you say. I feel like someone understands what you said loud and clear. And so they walking away and turning their back because this is not what they envisioned for the two, for themselves. And that's why this person is going out this gate. They really don't want to, but they like, I gotta go. Tell me about loud and clear and the potential outcome. What is being understood loud and clear? Tell me about loud and clear and the potential outcome. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. You have the Moon and Temperance in reverse. So, Taurus, you're in balance and you're very impatient. And you have abandonment issues. You fear people leaving you behind. That's what you tell me. And I don't know why my card in reverse sound like that. Here you go, Taurus. You like this third party shit. You telling me right here. And you refuse to make a decision. That's Libra Taurus MG looking at the third party and with the wine, the king of wine. Yeah, I like both. I like all of them. And I ain't making no decision. And so whoever this is, <clears throat> with death, ace of pentacles, and an eight of cups, possibly a Scorpio, somebody was like, mm -mm, I'm walking away from that shit. I don't like it. Death is there. I'm ending it. No, never mind. I don't want that. I'd rather be by myself with that hermit energy. Some of y'all done with a Virgo. I just wanted to see what was going on. 
with this loud and clear energy and a potential outcome. Someone heard the other loud and clear about a commitment, um, living together situation, joint assets and resources. And with judgment, some of you are done with a Scorpio or Aries. Someone made a judgment call and they learned their lesson with the page of pentacles. Somebody took their damn pentacle from this 10 and made a decision and walked away. They're like, I learned my lesson. I, I, I can't build this. I can't fix this. <clears throat> Tell me about this judgment. Tell me about this judgment. Yep. Somebody said with the Knight of Wands, that Eight of Cups, that walking away. Some of y'all don't want to say Sagittarius and that Three of Wands. Somebody was like, I'm walking away from unstable connections in and out behaviors or player people. I'm walking away from that with the Eight of Cups. I'm going to look to see what else is out there. I'm going to be patient till I get what I want. And your strategy is just to be alone, be by yourself. Oh, no, you're afraid of being by yourself with the nine of swords. It keep you up at night. You don't, some of y'all don't like to sleep alone either. So, Taurus, let me get you some advice for this reading. Spirit, what advice do you have for Taurus regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Taurus regarding this reading? Spirit, what advice do you have for Taurus regarding this reading? What advice do you have? Spirit, what advice do you have for Taurus regarding this reading? What advice you Get with this damn mirroring card again. Taurus spirit is saying time apart, some distance will help bring you clarity. But for some reason, it's like you're not getting the clarity because you keep running. That's what I feel like. I feel like you're not getting clarity because you keep running after something else. That's how I feel. Because it's a codependent. That's why the clarity is not being received. It's like a substitution method. Taurus spirit is saying past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. And every time you try to shift your focus, spirit will bring it right back to your attention with mirror. Because you keep trying to forget somebody. And you going to see this person and other people. Meaning, even if you run from this one, you can, you will meet somebody new, but you're going to get the same behaviors in that person because your soul is attracting this. You keep trying, like, I'm going to just forget them. So our spirit is seen with twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. Affirmative. That's why I feel so deeply to you, but you never satisfied with not enough. You're not enough. So our Spirit is saying it's not a good idea to keep playing out here in these streets or playing as hard as you're doing. And they want you to transform and change with butterflies. Some of y'all are doing the Scorpio. So Taurus, I pray you love, light, and happiness and pray that this read and gives you some clarity. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. This has been your edition of Sexy is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Hit the notification bell, Taurus. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. Peace, Taurus. I know these suckers are clueless So better watch your mouth because she really do this There's no need